Hey, pickers, Mighty Mike, picking weeds vintage. How are you? Just got back from the thrift store, one of our favorites that supports animals. And wait till you see what we got. Wow! 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 I love stuff like this. It's the Goodyear blimp. Remember we just got the um, goldfish blimp. And this one is cool. Three bucks. What a score. But eat, 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 but that's all folks. <laughs> Welcome to this thrift haul video. So glad you tuned in. Picking weeds vintage. Isn't he cute? Hey, Pickers Mighty Mike, Picking Weeds Vintage, how are you? We had a really good haul today, and we're going to go over the different items that we picked at one of our favorite thrift stores that supports animals, and yes, it was the Goodyear Tires Blimp, woohoo! And you know that I like inflatables, and this was a $3 purchase. You can hang it, it has the uh, loops there, and it is a blimp. The Goodyear Blimp. I love it. And I also got the goldfish out. Remember him? He's also a blimp. And I also have Marine Lands Can Do the Killer Whale. And we got him, I think, for a dollar or two. But my point is, when you go to post these, I like to do it like this. I like to do groups. So... I do the different media, the different genres, and I'll do three or four, five, whatever, posts of the same genre. So these are blow-ups. So why I do that, whether it's Marketplace or our eBay store, is because you can get more followers that way, more subscribers. Because what happens is, a lot of times people who do click on you, whether they buy or not, they like your stuff, They'll look to see if you have other ones listed. And if they don't find that, they'll probably move on to the next seller. But if they do find more than one, two, three, four, most likely they're going to follow you and that equals more sales. And as a reseller, that's good. Yeehaw! All right, next up, we have these old containers. And people like to collect these old tins. And the first is a lot of three of the Dones pills for back relief. And it says here, Dones pills for relief of back ache. And it has the Dones on the top. And these were $1 each. And I got a lot of three. Here's the directions on the back. There were 40 pills in here. And they were made in, is it Bavaria? Bavaria, Illinois, or Batavaria? Batavaria, <laughs> Illinois. So they have a bigger one, and that was $1.50. So that will definitely be one lot right there. We also got this ZBT baby powder with olive oil. Ah, ga, 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 ga. A gift from the makers of Chaz H. Fletcher's Castoria. And look at the artwork. And this also made in the USA. And then we also have another, this is a talc powder, talc deodorant. April showers, finest quality talc. And this was 250. Contents or container made in the USA. So um, how much I pay for this one? 250 as well. So maybe we'll do a lot of just those two and then a lot of these two. But they're small. I have fun with these. I like photographing them in the light box. And we do really well with these old containers. All right. And the frog here, he's cute. He's ceramic. Ribbit. And he was 50 cents. And he's just, he's fun. People like, well, it might be a toad, actually. People like frogs. People like toads. 
And it almost looked like this went along with it. Like this was his lily pad or whatever. But this also, this is a, um, a frost. Actually, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a pink, a pink hue to it. And this was just $1. So I guess you could put a, uh, a plant in there. It's a nice pot holder. I love that. You can really see that pink now, can't you? It's really cool. And with the frog's tongue, I don't know, it kind of just went along with it. So $1.50 on this little set here. And maybe when I sell him <laughs> at the flea or a marketplace, I can do a, uh, you know, together. There's two, two for, huh? Two for one price. All right, this was cool. This is a purse. And I believe it's a cookie jar. And um, it's pretty clean in the, inside there. Now, it is made in China. Microwave and dishwasher safe. It was only $3. Normally, I would take a pass. And honestly, I didn't see, but it has a chip. So that can probably be touched up with some black paint. Most likely, I'll let the new owner address that and point that out. But yeah, I mean, it's just a fun piece. People like, you know, when they go shopping, when you go thrifting, when you go to the flea market, yard sale, whatever, you want to have fun. And that's a piece where I can see people just picking it up all day long and saying, what's this? Is this a cookie jar? That's really cool. All right, next, we got a set of three McDonald's Anchor Hawking Fire King glasses. Well, they're mugs. And these are really neat, the milk glass. And the price was right. As I said, they were all a dollar piece. And at a dollar a piece, I think there's some meat on the bone, as Mike and Frank would say, to make some money. But yeah, these are uh, Fire King and they're Anchor Hawking. And for those of you who are resellers or collectors, you know that that is a good name to look for. And you know, when you get a chance to buy them at that price, at a dollar a piece, you jump on that right away. Got another uh, milk glass, and this is just a mug, and I got that for a quarter. And I do not see a print on the bottom, a stamp from, so, but it's just a, um, a milk glass mug, coffee mug. This is very exciting behind the row of uh, Anchor Hawking and Fire King McDonald's glass, uh, you know, the uh, milk glass coffee mugs. I, 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 I do, I do, I do declare, I, 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 foghorn, leghorn. Wow, and look at the condition that he's in. And if you're a collector, you know condition is everything. These are Pepsi Collector Series Warner Brothers 1973. Yeah! And this is foghorn, leghorn. And that was a terrible foghorn, leghorn imitation. I'm a little rusty on my foghorn, leghorn imitation but wow for a dollar a piece all of those were a dollar a piece and they folks are in really good condition when you have the artwork usually the artwork's faded and a lot of times my buddy dave told me that when people put them in the dishwasher they don't wash them by hand that will you know chip away at the paint and uh, the graphics the color is just so brilliant Look at the Tweety Bird. Same thing. The color. Look at that color. It's Tweety. And it's just so bright and brilliant. And uh, this also was from Warner Brothers Pepsi Collector Series. We got a Bugs Bunny. Yeah, what's up, Doc? And that also is part of this Warner Brothers Series 1973. And at a dollar a piece, I think Kay will be very happy. Here's Speedy Gonzalez. And we have Sylvester as well. And that is from the 1973 Pepsi Collector Series. And we got three Daffy Ducks. So all those are just in really, really good condition. Very happy with this set of Warner Brothers 1973 Collector Glasses. And uh, the colors, the graphics are just brilliant. And again, for a dollar a piece, I rarely, rarely see these going for that price. Um, you go to an antique mall or just, just Google it on eBay, uh, search for it, and you'll find that these are going for a lot more than a dollar. We did well. 
Finally, we have some McDonald's Collector Series glasses. We got Captain Crook. Remember him from the commercials? We have Grimace. Love that purple. And again, look at these graphics. Wow. The artwork is phenomenal. The colors are great. We got Ronald McDonald Collector Series. And finally, the Hamburglar. Now, they did have other ones. But honestly, the uh, graphics were faded and the artwork wasn't so good. They had Tom and Jerry. So... I took a pass and let those for somebody else. But wow, I am extremely happy to get these all for just $1 a piece. And I think they're going to do incredibly well on our eBay store. Very exciting. Whoa. Wow. Finally, we have Porky Pig. And Porky Pig has his original Looney Tunes product. Trademark from Warner Brothers back in 1994 by Ace Novelty Company in Bellevue, Washington, USA. So it's always great when you have the original tag on. Just got it for $4, and he's got his Porky Pig leather jacket on. And uh, love that in the back. It says, that's all, folks. And you can hang him up as well. He's got a little tail there. Uh, but yeah, he's he's wonderful. And, you know, you think of all the things we got here today, uh, probably, you know, when you go thrifting, we talked about this before in other videos, sometimes you find that people donate entire collections. So you'll find somebody that collected Tweety Bird or somebody that collected Warner Brothers. And you can see that we got a lot of great Warner Brothers advertising on this trip to the thrift store. Oh, yeah. Great haul today. And it was a wonderful trip to one of our favorite local thrift stores, that supports animals. And you know what, that is really the important thing. All those folks are volunteers and we want to thank all the people who donate and then all of the people there that help our furry friends. Anyways, we just want to thank you. Thanks to, all, I always thank the new subscribers, but thank you to a lot of you who've been with us for a very long time. We couldn't do it without your support. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm Mighty Mike, happy picking. But eat, 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 but that—that's all, folks. <laughs>